Hey guys, it's Laddie. Welcome back to a new video. We're doing another week of crochet. I don't want to take too much of your guys' time, but um, if you guys are watching this video, you guys already know that the video before this was my office video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and check it out. I redo my whole office in that video. I just caught, like, you know, like those fuzzies? I was moving it out of the way. <laughs> Um, but um, I'm also uh, I if you guys have seen that video you guys know that there's a giveaway going on for those of you who haven't seen it go to that video and you guys can check out everything that has to do with our giveaway that we're doing right now um, and it's gonna be on my Instagram if you uh, want to enter you have to be following my Instagram and everyone that's involved in the giveaway as well we will be checking so let's get into this video so this vlog is gonna start a little different oh you already know your girl how to get her little chai in. Today's video is going to start a little different because on today's video, um, I'm going to go get tattooed. So I don't know how this happened, guys. I have a tattoo appointment in December. I have a tattoo appointment in October. And I was really excited. I was like, oh, I can't wait to get tattooed. And then yesterday, the stars aligned, and now I'm getting tattooed today. Today is September. It's September, y'all. And um, long story short, it was a super last minute thing. Put in a deposit yesterday, and now I'm going to get tattooed. And I believe, yeah, no, I don't believe. It's going to be this side of my arm. I'm going to get, like, a one of those, like, butterflies with their wings opening when I move my arm. So I'm going to be going and it's going to be, I believe her name is, I don't want to say it wrong, but it's like Cherie or Cherry Ink. And I'm going to link or show you guys a picture. Her stuff is so beautiful. I've been following her for a bit now. And the fact that I saw all of this, it just all happened. I was like, there's no way. So I'm going to either be taking my camera. I'm obviously going to check with her if it's okay that I record. Um, and maybe I might not even take my vlog camera because I don't want to be up in people's faces. Maybe I'll just do like vlogging on my phone. But we'll see, but I just wanted to show you guys, tell you guys that's what we're going to be doing later today. Behind me, if you can see, I made a bunch of dinos this week. I made seven. My mom made six. She's on her seven, so we're going to have 14 total. So I have all of these back here, as you can see. We have three dinos that are going to, at the market, that are going to be these candy corn um, themed dinos. I went with this, like multicolor this is like the burnett blanket tie-dye i absolutely fell in love with this tie-dye uh yarn i want to go in and get the other ones because i have the green one for the leggy froggies but this one definitely trumps the other one for me i just love the colors of this more and then i have like other colors that are already on my site that i made we made some white chickens i have them up on the site already i made five of them so i've been keeping track of everything we've made my mom already made six ghosts and she has cute little hats on them and we need to make more turtles but I really want to try to get a little bit more spooky in here so I think we need some maybe a pump maybe a couple pumpkins I don't want to like over prep because then they're just gonna sit you know what I mean and I don't want to like have that problem so i'm either thinking like maybe some pumpkins um some bats but like stuff that i can keep in between like the 10 to 15 dollar range that one doesn't take too much to time to make not too much material and i can fit it um in that price range just because in markets it's a little easier for someone to pay 10 to 15 dollars rather than 60 to 100 dollars it's happened but i just don't always want to be like just like everything on my site or everything on my um booth is over $40 like it's just I know that not everyone can pay for that so I want to make sure that everyone can um, purchase if they want to that's why I do um, price things a little bit lower at markets just because online I have to you know incorporate shipping costs or I mean like shipping um, materials um, fee online fees all that good stuff while whereas markets I'm just taking it and people are picking it up if that makes sense all right, friends, we are in the vehicle. My truck had no gas, so I have Oscar's card today. Before I forget, I also brought a bee of mine so that I can give it to her as a little gift, as a thank you. All right, y'all, I'm here. I'm gonna record, I think it's called Kensho Inc. I don't wanna say it wrong, so I'll see like, how I'm supposed to say it. But we're here and with five minutes to spare, so I'm gonna go in and ask them if I can go pee. <laughs>
so I just got done. I didn't record too much just because there was music playing, but she was really nice. It was a live demonstration, so she was teaching like a group of like women and it was really cool. It only took like an hour and like 15 minutes for her to do. She told me I can come back in anytime to get like shading if I wanted shading or to add little stars or something to it, um, which I might do, but I really like, I'm very minimal when it comes to my tattoos, so I love um, anything that's kind of like just like line work not too much shading I like shading but not too much so let's go home I'm gonna go crochet all right we're back home I'm about to take this off but I wanted to show you guys I made a pumpkin <laughs> um, it was my first time making a pumpkin this year I made one pumpkin last year and it was with acrylic yarn so this one is just plush yarn and I used cotton yarn to do the dividers but you can kind of see but I guess you can't not really um the yarn i used to do the divisions which i really liked but um it's not as time friendly as i would like it to be the stem i did on my own i just decided to like do a regular chain and then what i like about doing regular chains is that it automatically will twist so it gives you like that illusion of like a nice little stem i don't think i'm gonna add green but this is my first time as you can see like some parts are a little bigger than others which i don't mind only because pumpkins are not the same you go to a pumpkin patch, none of them are the same. So I'm fine with that. So I just wanted to show you guys a pumpkin I made. My mom has made pumpkins with witch hats, which I think is, so, pumpkins, has made ghosts with witch hats, which I think is so, so cute. But let's go ahead and take this bad boy off. Okay, there you go. There you go. Wow, look at it, guys. Oh, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. My hand's just gonna be here. I'm just gonna have a butterfly on me. And she moves around. This I'm gonna I'm wondering how it's gonna do. I'm not gonna touch it. Um all that stuff you see is all of like the balm that they put on you, but oh, I'm obsessed. We got tattoos on both arms. Alright guys, it's the next day and look what I just got in the mail. I already know what this is. This is, I know that this is from Personal Creations and Personal Creations and I have decided to work together. Um, what you, what's in this box is that I'm so excited to show you. Okay, give me it. We gotta open it. I'm gonna cut to the chase. So pre Personal Creations um, reached out to me to work together and they're gonna be giving you guys a 40% off of what's inside this box. And the burrs of the year are coming y'all know what that is it's november december october the burrs and when the burrs are coming that means the holidays are coming so what's in here has to do with christmas christmas is by far one of my favorite holidays i am a grinch um obsessed girl okay paperwork don't want it Oh my goodness. Okay, Personal Creations has decided to send, let me choose four customized stockings. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's open up this one. I already see my name. <laughs> so I got a red one. Oscar chose his. I chose mine. And then we have two other ones we got to choose. I was going to put the dog's names on them, but I just decided not to. So, oh my my goodness look at this uh, how beautiful and look it says larissa i was gonna do lottie but i was like i'm just gonna do my full name oh my goodness okay there's one i'm so excited we have this one that says reyes which is oscar's last name i didn't change my last name but i mean we're referred to as the reyes family so I got one that's green with the name Reyes. There's Oscar chose his. He got like it's like from ours was from the same collection, but you have they have so many options. They have ones with animals. They have ones that are like pan stockings. Like it look they were so funny. I wanted to get the those ones, but just in case, um, I got these. Oscar chose this one that's like a sock. Like I mean, it's a stocking in it. They're all socks, but his is a little different. Look at the stitching on that. Look at the embroidery. That looks so, so good. Yes. Oh, they're going to look so good up on my mantle. Let's go. Let's go put it up. They look so cute. I hung them up here where I have like my chimney. And look at this. 
So, uh, Personal Creations is going to give you guys a 40% uh, off if you use my code. So, it's Refine Vibes 40 Guys, ooh, I'm kind of obsessed with mine because it has, like, this frilly end. Cute. So, let me know if you guys order so that I can give you a thank you. Chai Chai is going to love them just as much as I do. <laughs> That's Daddy's. Leave it alone, okay? Not for you. Not for Poppy. Tell them. Refine Vibes 40 with 40% off. So Refined Vibes 40. Thanks, Personal Creations. All right, guys, we are a, probably like a week and a few days out from the actual market day. Um, so we got a market prep like a son of a gun. So I already have dinos prepped. We have over 50 octos prepped. We have over 40 bees prepped. We have, let's see what else we have. Um, I think I already said dinos. We need, I think we need more turtles, but my mom texted me and said she's handling the turtles. So I was like, okay, girl, you do your thing. And, um, I feel like we, since it's going to be September, I want to have a couple things that are a little more, um, Halloween themed, but I don't want to have too many things just because I don't want to like over prep something and then I have a lot of stuff that won't sell and that it's seasonal I'm thinking let's like add a couple bats but I want to have relatively small bats so that I don't charge I don't have to charge an arm and a leg for a bat that takes me forever you know what I mean so let's figure this out <laughs> so I've been racking my brain for like two or three hours now which kind of makes me a little angry <laughs> Because I'm trying to find, like I said, a pattern that I would like. And I'm, I checked Pinterest, I checked Etsy, and it, there was nothing really calling my name. I had a friend of mine, Quinn, send me a pattern, but it, it's too big. You know, it's like the size of a cow. And, I, and for markets, I really like to have that price range of 5 to like 15 bucks. So this is what I have so far, guys. Like I have a little cutie, but I'm trying to figure out how to do the wings. I don't know if I should have the wings be acrylic. I found a picture on Pinterest of a bat that looks like this, but the way they wrote the body and they wrote the ears, I knew it was gonna take too much time, so I took the picture and I changed the hook size, changed the yarn, and I kind of made it up as I went myself, just using their picture as an inspiration. guys I went ahead and made a purple one look how cute they look together so I'm just gonna keep making purple ones maybe a lighter purple maybe even like a fully black one this one's in the charcoal yarn that I have so I really really like them I like how small they are and I think people would like them as well so let me know what you guys think of them we got mail just got off live look at all those orders one two three four five six orders on live y'all for those of you who are on the live comment down below that you run live let a girl know but look we got an or not an order. <laughs> Sorry, I was on live. I'm still in that space. We got a present. So this is from Ashlyn. And Ashlyn has been following me for a minute now. And she's super nice. Um, her um, Instagram is Ashlyn. And I, you guys already know. I'm going to put it in the description box below. Ashlyn.crochets. And um, her orders are actually closed right now. She's market prepping. So just so y'all know. But, um... She does make a bunch of crochet um, plushies as well, and they're so cute, but this is not plushies. She actually started dabbling in crochet hooks, and we know that. I've been just so excited getting all these different types of hooks. So let me feel. I'm just going to cut from here. 
and she was nice and she's gonna send Ooh, I see stuff coming out already she sent um, me a hook as well as my mama hook so I've already seen them but obviously it's different in person but okay so we have some black filling oh my god I'm so glad I didn't cut the card is this a card she sent me it is Aw, she goes, Larissa, I hope you and your mom love these hooks. These are both 5mm hooks. You are truly an inspiration to me when I have zero crochet motivation. Your videos help me get back into it. I love your... <laughs> I love you, crochet bestie, Ashlyn. Oh my gosh, you already know this is going up on the cork board. Let's see. What? We don't have an orange flower on there. So we're going to put an orange one. Look how cute. So that's gonna go up here. Ah, this I get to like look at those. So there's some black um filling, but I'm just gonna grab this. Super cute. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna lower the brightness in here a bit. That way you guys can see it. I'm so excited to see these in person. My mom is all over. She's like, you're not taking mine. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, before I show you guys. Oh my gosh, they feel so cool. So this is her card. She has a thank you card. Super cute. This is her Instagram and her Facebook on there. So those will be in the description box below. You guys already know the vibes. Go uh, follow my girl. Do me a solid look at how effing cute these are so this one is mine this is a cute little this is a cute little highland cow look how freaking cute that is and it's a five millimeter hook look how cute this is and so i actually when she offered to make this for me i actually asked her because i believe when people make silicone um um, like the beaded crochet hooks. I think they don't put as many of these balls on there But I told her me and my mom both have pencil grips So we hold it like this versus other people hold it higher up and they don't have a pencil grip I don't even know how to hold it that way But so we so I asked her if she can add a couple extra and she did look how cute these are I'm obsessed my cool crochet like hook collection is growing so much thank you so much ashlyn thank you so it's 10 30 right now at night we're entering crackhead hour larissa where things start getting blurry i start feeling hungry and i'm just my best self i'm just kidding <laughs> but the delusion sets in but i wanted to show you guys i've done four bats so we have two purple ones, and I think I want to do two black ones. I don't know if I'll do that tonight. Two charcoal ones. I think they're really cute. And then I started working on chicken bodies because on live tonight or today, I had made five white chickens and three of them sold on live. So I went ahead and replace those three so I've made four chicken bodies I'm about to fill these up sew them up and add the combs and then add these back onto the shop so that I have chickens for the shop and for my market and I went to Joann's and got three balls of yarn one white because I was running out the rock started speaking to me <laughs> I said I went to Joann's and I got a dark green because I need I always need green for leggy froggies or for like strawberry keychains which also I need to do put on my to-do list that I got to do um, keychains at one point because I had like a bunch of them and they all sold and then I got some more speckle yarn because I'm running out so I have that and I can start feeling my hands going like, all right, Larissa, it's getting a little late, but I'm just going to take a little bit of a break, but I'm going to put these chicken bodies together.
showed you guys we made some more chicken so we've made four chickens four new white chickens that I need to add to my little chicken bin so that means right now my chicken count is at let's see so I made four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we have twelve chickens right now all of them varying colors so 12 chickens in here write that down just wanted to show you guys what I did yesterday I think I'm gonna do two more bats today and have one two three four five and even six um, I think I'm gonna do two black ones and then we have these five chickens and then this little pumpkin I want to try to make more pumpkins today probably this size but I really want to work on like you guys see that little orange thing but we'll see I don't know if I, I say I want to work on something and then I find something else to do so <laughs> we'll see so it's the next day I'm about to actually finish crocheting but I wanted to give you guys an update of the stuff that I've crocheted tonight and I went for like a Halloween vibe tonight um, on live I was trying to figure out what to do and then someone said you should do like spooky turtle so I was like mm, okay sounds good so that's what I did so the first one people saw that I did this one on live um, it's literally a green turtle with a white shell and look it like is a ghost so he's like has like a little ghost shell I think it's super cute and then um, I had that pumpkin I told you guys the first one I made and I made it into a turtle. Look, isn't that so... I really, really like it. Like, I think it's super cute. So then there's that. And then I just made this one, which I'm very proud of. It's a witch turtle. What do you think? I'm going to ask Oscar. And if he tells me I need to switch it, then I'll make it something different. But if he likes it, then I'll leave it. It's a new day. Um, and it's time to go to the post office. So I have my beautiful bag my best friend gave me and then I have an order in there already but I'm packing this order that's going to one of my repeat customers Taryn um, they ordered a blue fluffy cow so our blue fluffy cows are sold out so I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I've been packing everything um, I print out their invoice and then I give them this uh, thank you card I got my thank you cards actually off of Amazon so I will have this linked to my Amazon storefront for those of you. I know there's a couple other people who say that they use the same ones, which I thought was super cute. So I have this, and then I put it in the box. We still stamp up all the boxes, but because of Moonbin sending me that thermal printer, I've been going crazy making stickers. So like, this one was already a pre-made one they had, so it's like says cute but creepy. Is it focusing? So it's cute but creepy and then I made these ones that have the refined vibes sticker like logo and then it says thank you for your order and then um, I made this one last night it says it's on my to-do list planner and I made it say to-do list so that like I'm obsessed with this holographic um, labels I'm probably gonna order some gold ones because I'm obsessed with them um, I'm gonna wrap up the cow in an extra layer just because um, the bigger boxes have a little more space so I don't like them to move as much in there. Um, so I'm going to wrap him up in some of this packing paper. Just for safety. And we're going to put that bad boy in there. Oh, I was going to say something. <laughs> oh, this Moonbin printer has been so, so good. Um, let me show you guys. I already showed you guys the ones that I made right now that I put on the sticker, but then I used the purple ones to do Happy Mail stickers. And then I have some just, um, refined vibes without the thank you on them just to put them on my bags. Isn't that so cute? So I'm just gonna wrap up this little cow like a burrito just because I feel like it makes it look a little bit better when it comes in the packaging and I think that's what's the fun part about having a small business is that you add all these like little details like these little details to having you know sending packages that bigger company companies bigger companies don't really care like they'll just Here's your packaging, and you're on your way. Thanks for your money. Whereas, like, small businesses, and I don't know if you guys agree with me, they just care a little bit more about how things come. My opinion. 
So it's like really, really humbling to see people like this, like Taryn, for instance, who's like, I think this is her fourth or fifth order with me. And I just really, really appreciate it. So then I'm just going to put one of these cute stickers I showed you guys and I'm going to put it on top to give it a little bit of a new look. Ooh, I have it in purple too. I'll use purple. Thank you. And then it'll be on there. So now we have a sticker. I actually got the idea of having all the stickers from all the nice people, all the cute letters you see here. Everyone had their own sticker on their actual bags versus just on here. Mm. So thank you to all of you who have sent me. You guys have actually helped me like want to step up my um, shipping game. Super, super sweet of you guys. Sorry, my like thank you card went under. So then I'm gonna put this bad boy in here. See how he kind of just fits in there? And for those of you asking, this actually, this shipping box is from Walmart. And this one's a 11 by um, 7555. And it fits all of my like medium sized stuff perfectly. Not my jumbos. My jumbos have to use like a 12 by 10 by 8 box. Well, as like my huge ones are, I think a 12 by, no, 15 by 12 by 10. I have them memorized by now when I have to go to Walmart. Um, I'm so excited to tape up this baby. Guys, I'm so excited that that red panda sold. We've had him for a minute. Um, but it's just so cool that our red panda gets to go somewhere. And it's by someone who's messaged me on Instagram and their words are so sweet. So everyone who's been supporting and then you guys send such cute messages. It's It's been awesome. I had someone message me that was like, hey, like I ordered this my first time ordering from a crochet business. And I'm just like, that's so cool. Genuinely, genuinely, so, so sweet. I want to get like a gold one. But we have them packed up. So now I'm going to print out the label and then we're going to go to the post office. Guys, I did it. <laughs> I freaking did it. I made a pattern. I freaking did a pattern. So I went ahead and made my own little pattern of this turtle. Um, I'm so happy and I'm so excited. Um, I don't really know what to say. I'm super excited. I hope that everyone likes it. I already have, I put it up on Instagram, like, who wants to test it? So many people, so many of you replied. So I only chose three people, and I told them if they could do it literally today, if they had time, they said yes. I had a girl who literally messaged me saying, I have time right now. I'm going to start it right now. So I have this one. I have a green one. This one ended up being a little bit bigger, burger, a little bit bigger. I was reworking it, trying to figure out what I really wanted to do, and so... The second, so this was my first attempt, second attempt, and then third attempt. But they all are super cute, but I really like this one the most. So I went ahead and wrote my first pattern. I'm hoping that by the time this video comes out, they will already be available on both Etsy and on um, my shop. I would ask if you guys can purchase it from my shop but I'm also putting it on Etsy just so that the business side of it you know there's a lot of crochet patterns a lot of people go for crochet patterns to Etsy so it would be just smart of me to post it on Etsy as well so that people have that option I'm so something came in the mail for me right before I go on live so this is from Rihanna Upton I have no idea what this is um, I've been getting so many messages and so many people asking me so we're just gonna open this up together Sometimes I know what's coming in the mail, sometimes I don't. So these ones are always fun when it's a surprise. You guys see what's in there? Let's see. Okay, I take it, I'm taking everything out without looking at it. Ooh, I got a letter first. Okay, cute. Usually when I read the letters, they'll say what they gave me, so. Oh, hello, I hope you enjoy these. Oh, felt eyes <laughs> I made. I've been watching your YouTube channel since the second video you posted about crochet. My mom and I found your channel in the beginning of June. And it was so inspirational to see how far you have come since you started posting crochet videos. I hope you enjoy these eyes. You can attach them with using hot glue or fabric glue. Uh, fabric glue. Fabric glue. My Instagram is Rihanna underscore crochets. My Etsy is Rihanna crochets good. Good. Rihanna crochet goods. I hope you have an amazing and wonderful day. Rihanna Upton. P.S. I put two sets of all eyes so your mom can try them out too. Oh, that's so sweet of you. She's going on here. Look how, that is so freaking sweet of you to, um, I'm gonna cut it so it's a little circle. See, like now I can like, I can open it when I wanna open it. 
Let's look at these felt eyes because I literally opened them like upside down. Oh my god. How cute. Okay, this is the first set that they sent me. And it looks like it has silver eyes, heart little um, pupils. Is that the pupils? I don't even know, but it's silver. Okay, so that's the first set that they sent. Look at this. Wow, so cute. Guys, thank you so much. I love that they're like little hearts. Oh, okay, so these ones are regular little circles. You guys saw that? And then these two have our hearts. Stop, that's so cute. Guys, I tried to make felt eyes once, completely, completely <laughs> failed. Little, like, this little face, that's cute. Oh my god, like, on a little, like, crochet B. I'll probably use hot glue to put these on just so that I'm a little more, like, there's a second one. Look at this. I need to make something Halloween themed now with this. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, look at this. This big old box came in the mail for me and it's from wild child studio co um it is he kind of heavy so let me grab my beautiful box cutter she looks real taped real good <laughs> Let's see. whoa oh it smells so good okay let's see the first thing up on the box Wax melts. Break each melt and add it to a wax melt. Oh, I have those in the house. I have some. Oh my goodness, what fragrance is this? Oh, apple pie. Guys, oh, I wish you guys could smell this. It looks like an apple pie. <laughs> Break off a piece of your snap bar and place it in your warmer. This one's espresso latte. Ooh, Oscar's gonna like this one, probably. That smells like straight up coffee. That smells like straight up coffee. Look at that, that's beautiful. I'm so excited, this is so, so cool. Okay, so this is sandalwood rose. I don't know what a wax sachet is. So you place it in any space, small space, closer. Closet, bathroom, fill the room with scent. Once the smell starts to disappear, you can break it up and melt melt it down in a warmer. Oh, that's kind of cool. I see a little rope. Ooh. How cool. Oh, it broke. Mm -hmm. It's because it's just got soft. But if you warm it up, I'm sure it can go back. Mm -hmm. But you're supposed to like hang it up in a room. But I can just put it in a warmer. These smell so good. Ooh. <gasps> How cute. You got me scr you gave me scrunchies. Look, this one has dog paws on it. That is so cute. So we have. Ooh, this is a beautiful. Oh, and it's satin. Homegirl knows that the curls do better with this type of material. Look at that color. It's beautiful you're gonna stay right there oh my gosh thank you so much this is so cool okay that's this oh shut the fuck up shut up cute that is deja moo and it has cow print all over it on top come on camera look at it Oh, we got a fallen soldier. And it smells so good. Okay, we got a candle. We have candle, wax melt scrunchies. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Guys, ah! I cannot believe this was all sent to me. That smells so, oh my God, it's so soft. Ooh, she ain't ashy no more. That smells so yummy. Like, this is the sugar scrub, but look at this. I wish you guys could feel this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have all of um, Wild Child Studio Co. Um, links in the description box below. You guys have to, like, this smells so effing good. Okay. There's more stuff in here. 
This is so much stuff. There's more wax melts. This one is Midsummer Nat Midnight. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is so freaking cool. I can't. What the heck? I cannot wait to have my house smelling so freaking good. And my best friend's coming, so I'm going to freaking have the house smelling so good for her arrival. Okay, this one is a holiday tree. E. You know what it looks, smells like? You know that um area in like the craft stores that have um the you know Christmas stuff? It smells like that. So cool. Okay, this is a luxury soy candle in farmhouse. Oh, look at this. Okay, let me show you guys before. I'm like being all stingy. Look at this. So this is their luxury soy candles, handcrafted. Leave, never leave a burning, oh, this is directed. Never leave a burning candle unattended. You right. Do not use lid to exaggerate candle. All right, all right, girl. Ingredients is just literally soy, wax, eco wick, and fragrance oil. Literally three ingredients, and look, that's what the top looks like. And then if we oh, open it, amazing. Pumpkin spice. Okay, baby. Oh, pumpkin spice. I have another pumpkin spice candle. I don't think it's a soy one, and this one smells way better. The other one's from Better Bath and Beyond. Ooh, cinnamon baked pear. And then brown sugar fig. Woo, baby. Let me see. So let's do the cinnamon baked pear. Ooh. That's not what I was expecting it to smell like. Ooh, that's yummy. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, I haven't found one that I haven't liked so far. Let me not jinx it. Brown sugar fig. Put this back on there because I like taking those off. <laughs> oh, that's so yummy! Mm -hmm. This one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. Brown sugar fig. <sighs> that is so so yummy. Thank you so much, Wild Child Studio Co. I am extremely grateful. Your stuff is amazing. Your stuff smells so so good. This cup is amazing. I thank you. Thank you so much. We're back in the office. So what's currently happening is yesterday I spent the whole day writing my first pattern. I think I already talked about it. It's up. It's on my shop. So if you guys want to get the ghost pattern, it is on my shop. It's also available on Etsy. It's a little more expensive on Etsy because Etsy has fees. So if you want to get it cheaper, I highly suggest you go to refinedvibes.com and I have the ghost turtle shell for $3.50. I felt like that's what was fair. That's what people said would be fair. And I just wanted to make sure I have stuff that's affordable for everyone. And now you guys can make the ghost turtle. Look, I have them all back here. I made three of them. I have this like purple one. So cute. So now today, today's line of work is me going to be working on the site. Okay guys, I just got back home. I spent the day with my one of my good friends from college so I kind of gave myself a day off it felt really weird I'm not gonna lie to you I haven't had a day off in a long time but I came home to another box this is a box from Timu Timu actually sent this to me um, so I'm gonna show you guys everything they sent me it was actually supposed to be for the office video but I ordered it a little late and I didn't want to wait on giving you guys like that giveaway so we're just gonna open it up on camera here See here, I'm going to have it linked in the description box below, just like how I did with the last one. Um, just so it's a little easier. Ooh, baby! Okay, let's gonna take everything out and then we'll go. Oh, these are so tiny! Okay, so first up, we got this embellish knit. Um, I saw this on Etsy and I was like, ooh, I need to get it. Um, tiny little price tags. So that I can price my items at market individually now. Um, I'll have my signs, but a lot of times, like my bigger items need to be priced individually. So they'll have the little price tag, and then I, um, you just pop this little thing out, and then you can put them. And I got, where are they? Let's see. I got these 
safety pins from Timu so that I can use the safety pins to pin this little tag on my plushies. I think that'd be a really good idea, especially with like these Halloween turtles. I got this cute little roll of, I think it's 500 animal stickers. I thought they were going to be bigger, I'm not going to lie to you. And they came in a little squishy squishy, but look at I saw this and I had to have it. So I think it'd be really cute to add to like my thank you cards, like a little sticker or on my boxes. It slides out like this. And so you can add it to your desk so that you have a little drawer. And look, here are the adhesive, the little stick. So you put it and then you stick it up there. Winder, but it's a yarn winder. So I'm so excited to use this because so many of you are like, you should get a yarn winder because you guys see me doing wrapping it up and it would save me time. Whoa, this is cool. It's going so fast. <laughs> Scissors. So I went ahead and added the drawer right here. It's really nice. I didn't think I would like it or it would stick, but it's pretty good. And then I put the cable holder. I obviously need to like tighten it a little bit more, but I was able to put some of the cords on there to clean up this space. That's a box full for my mom. <laughs> um, the yarn winder, my cup. And so far I wasn't able to use the desk thing because um, this Mac is just so heavy. The 2010, like the older models are so, so heavy. So it was literally bending. Um, that's what I get for choosing a metal rack. I don't think anything's wrong with the rack itself. I just think that this thing is so heavy. But yeah. <laughs> Making all the yarn cakes I can. <laughs> Alright, so we've made it to the end of this video, guys. I know that this was a little bit different. I'm not even going to name it a week of crochet. Because it really wasn't a week of crochet. There was a lot of, like, stuff happening, um... Like, I needed to do stuff for the shop. I was making a pattern that took up, I don't know how much of my time. So it wasn't too, too much market prepping. This next week, I have to go into overdrive now because of <laughs> this week's shenanigans. But it was kind of nice to give myself a rest. I hope you guys still enjoy this video. It's a little bit more lifestyle, a little bit more. You guys get to see, um, I get to open up a lot more packages um, this video. So I hope you guys still enjoyed it. I hope it was still good for you guys to market prep. Let me know what you were market prepping while watching this video. Um, and then comment your favorite part of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!